guys, welcome to today's video. Just put my shoes on, we're headed out. You're not coming? You're not coming? I got these super cute water shoes yesterday and Sophie stole them. Only stores we're allowed to shop at right now are Walmart, the mall's not open, so that, that was all I could get. But I'm willing to go back and get more. Let's go, I'll meet you in the car. First heart of the day. First heart of the day, you guys, it's a rock right by my car. I might need a sweater. I think I need a sweater. I'm going to get a sweater. All right, I got myself a jacket. Good thing I went in because I ordered a Fiona's baby some new toys. The other day I was talking to Fiona about baby toys and I was reminiscing about my kids' favorite toys ever and this is probably the biggest one when they were babies for these rings or these cups. They have like little holes in the bottom. They have numbers on the bottom. They're good for the bath, they're good for the pool. And then, the car hasn't even started. I know. And I saw this one, Shape Sorter. I love that one too. Before you know it, I ordered them. All right. Um, so you know Zoe? Yeah, I know Zoe. Zoe um, the chicken. Mm -hmm. I find the keys. I've been driven in days. So she, at Brandon, she was in her cage, in the house part the whole time. Oh. I have a bit. You got to put that back in your in our lot in your locker. Bit in my purse the whole time. So what I'm thinking is she thinks Perfume. that she Phew. like she likes the top part because I made her get out of it and she ran back up into the top top part. All right, keys. Where the heck are you? This is the hardest part of life. Never have a big purse. Ah. Sometimes I have to literally take my whole entire part, purse apart. Which makes us late. Making us late. And now you're making us late. Ah. Alright. I have to take the whole purse apart. This is annoying. Annoying. Shake your purse and see if you're... I have a bit in there and it sounds like keys. Sometimes the girls take my keys. And then I never, never put took your keys. And then never put them back I in my purse. I even have spoons in my purse still. You still have the egg? Uh, I don't know. Where are you purple? Alright, well we're in trouble because we are late. Go get dad's keys. Somebody go get dad's keys. You go get dad's keys. You have a driver, you're responsible for this. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah, we'll find them. Why? Can I not find my keys? Ah! Because your keys hate you. Somebody has my keys. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Did anybody, do you guys know that granola bars feel exactly like keys? No, I got no keys. Yeah, we already knew that for the last five minutes. All right, well, what are we going to do? Go get Dad. Somebody go get dad's keys. You go get dad's keys. I'm not going, oh I found my keys. Side huh. pocket. Side pocket. Side pocket for the win. And she blames us. Well, uh, I definitely blame everyone. All right, now I'm gonna throw it all back in. If I be missing something later, you guys remind me I emptied my purse in the car. All right, do I have my phone? Do you know what I mean? Oh Your no. phone's on the thing. Okay, do I have my wallet? Yes. All right. See? Normally I'm way more organized than this. How do you get a granola? It's not a granola. It's a smelly thing that your dad gave me okay, from Great Canadian stuff. Oil Change. There we go. All right. We are headed out to horseback riding lessons with Fiona. So we got our toys. We got everything we need. And we just got to get going. We'll see you guys when we, we get there. We have our phones when mom forgot her phone. Yeah, I got but my phone. All right, we're here at the barn. I always miss them after a weekend. All right, so here's the update for this week. Whew, it's chilly. So uh, basically, um, I found two riders for Storm to help us keep him exercised. So one is a girl that rides at Sophie's level, and she's gonna have a couple of lessons with Sophie because you guys know that Sophie rides with like the big girls, and she's only 11, and people forget and expect so much more from her, and she actually lives up to it. like. When Gabby was 11, she was riding with 11 year olds and did 11 year old stuff. And I know there are lots of 11 year olds that do more things than Sophie. 
and that's okay but i think it's important for her to get to ride with kids her age so there's another girl going to be having lessons with sophie and she's going to be riding storm yes second. right look at me nailing it and then also uh you guys met chanel who and wants yeah, to learn to jump work. and so uh chanel's gonna take lessons on storm with fiona too i'm rethinking my flip-flops now flip-flops and horses do not match but sometimes it has to happen you guys okay so taking away the risk of being stepped on and just putting in the risk of stepping in horse poop with flip-flops on yeah i had a good choice laura if he's got her big boots on uh, look how beautiful though it doesn't look as beautiful in the camera as it does in real life like this is what our horses get to do every day maneuver through see horse poop maneuver through the woods Aww. <laughs> never had this horse come up to us before he's so cute Stand there and put your hand out. Sophie, I got treats. Huh? I got treats. See, if you've been giving him treats all along, he would already be here. Come on, Chino. I see you looking at us. Come on, Storm. They're like, nope. Not today, friends. Ah. Uh, you see that thing where they do the thing where they wait till you get halfway to them and then they come? That's annoying. You can tell they're men. You can tell they're men. Oh, Stormy's coming. Here, Storm, I got him. So today, uh, Storm's not having a lesson. So Gabby's gonna ride him and Chino. She's gonna lesson on Chino and ride Stormy Boy. Keep him in shape. Look at you, handsome man. Looking so fine in your summer coat. Storm. Storm. Okay, this is it. I'm not coming any closer. You want them? You got to come. Look, you got a little cut on your face. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, look at that. So that's a scab. Usually we pick it before it gets to that point, but yeah, good. All right, we're going, we're going, but we'll be back for you, okay? Meet us at the door in about an hour, okay? Guys, I think there's a chestnut in our future. We all be wanting a chestnut. All right, so, Penny has the same problem. so Penny has a problem. What's Penny's problem? She rips the halter off her head. Yeah, she shoves her head in the halter, and then she, when you go to take it off, she rips her head out. So Sophie's gonna show us how to fix that. Okay, so you put, Halter, take it off one ear. One ear, and you uh, wait. Right, and Finn doesn't do that, but Sophie says Finn, Finn used to. to. I remember he used to do that actually. Yeah, Penny's a girl after my own heart. I like to just rip my halter off. So Sophie says that I have to train her now. Oh, I'm training her for you. Yeah, so we'll work on oh, that. I'm already working on it every time I get to leave Penny. Is that why you led Penny yesterday? No, that she won't let dad catch her. She won't let dad catch her? Good girl. I'm not gonna lie, I love a strong woman. I understand, I understand a strong woman. A lot of you guys probably think that I'm not a strong woman. I am a strong woman. A strong woman. Dad cannot catch any horse. Dad I just can't walk catch up to the horse. I know. And I pretend that I have a treat. Like, they walk, like they Our horses are trained to walk right up to us, but they won't walk up to dad? They hate that. Wow, that's They're crazy. Enough. You gotta put in the time. The yeah, the mares. Just the mares. The mares even being mares. All right, get ready. All right, Sam and I are headed out to do a couple of things, but Sam just told me something exciting. What did you tell them? What did you tell me? Took me a garden. Just built a garden and uh, they will come. A turkey. Mama turkey with seven babies. Coming our across house. the road. The road, like our our oh, right across the road here, so oh. they're somewhere in our yard. They're oh, they're in our yard. Somewhere. 
we have turkeys, a mama and babies. I don't know if not everybody might not like that, but I love that. Like, as long as they don't, I, I'd feed them chicken food. If they needed food, if they needed food, I would feed them. So yeah, there are turkeys in our yard. We've never had turkeys. In fact, when we moved to that barn, there were no wild animals. There was only a graveyard of raccoon bones. A graveyard of raccoon bones and nothing else. And then now suddenly, there are birds and and turkeys. We have turkeys. Anyway, Sam and I are headed to get chlorine. We're back from our riding lesson. It was so phenomenal. You guys, having our trainers back has made such a big, huge difference for us. I'm so grateful for them. I'm so grateful to have them. I, oh, I just hope that COVID is finished for the most part and we never lose them again. Hey guys, I just wanted to have a quick conversation with you. Um, before I end today's video. I just wanted to tell you guys that today I was talking to somebody that I have blocked on her channel recently. Somebody that often said mean things. I told you guys before that I only block people if they say mean things or or take something that I say and change the narrative to suit a negative, a negative narrative instead of believing what I say about our own life. And, and sometimes when somebody only is saying negative things all the time, it gets really stressful and I block them. And the reason I block them is because nobody has a right to our life. Just because we put it out there on YouTube, it doesn't mean you have the right to a say in our life. I guess that's what I should say. Nobody has a right to a say in our life except for people that we choose to let have a say in our life. And I appreciate so many of you guys and I appreciate even the people who say leave mean negative comments because sometimes those are the ones I learn from the best. Anyway, what I wanted to say was that I talked to this lady today and she said, you know, I realized that you blocked me and through the conversation I realized that I hurt her just as much as she's hurt us over this time and I just want to say that I'm really sorry to any of you guys that I've said unkind things to. Usually I say them if I feel attacked or if I feel like someone is trying to be mean or trying to change the narrative of what I'm saying to, to suit their own needs. and. And in the past I've reacted negatively and I've reacted badly and I've tried to fix that and, and I hope you guys can see that I've really improved vastly in the last four, three or four months. But there's never any excuse to be unkind for you and for me. And so if I've hurt you in the past, I want to say I'm sorry and that we should all just start again and try again. And what I told this lady, I wanna tell all of you guys, I wanna invite you, if you have a problem or a question or you don't understand something that I say or something that we do, I invite you to go to another social media, probably Instagram or Facebook, and send me a message and tell me your question and tell me that you would like more clarification before you have to assume things or change the narrative to suit what you think is happening, if that makes sense. But anyway, I just wanted to say that I'm so sorry for all the times that I have said mean things. Nobody deserves that. Even if I'm trying to defend myself, I, nobody still deserves that. There's always a better way. There's always a more positive way. There's always a kinder way. And I just want to say that. I just want to say that I do feel really awful for all the mean things that I've said. And I believe that lots of times it's the mean replies that I have given that have made people feel even more upset and hate even further. So yeah, there it is. That's all I want to say to you guys. Uh, but that is it. That's the end of today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Don't you know that you're